Um, just a couple of quick videos this morning um, about questions people have sent over. Now, one of the ones was relating to how people use you. Now, when you go to the Philippines or elsewhere, you do get people hanging on um, sometimes that are looking for ways to benefit themselves. I do apologize about the lighting because I've got a blind here I need to remove. Um, but the one of the things that'll, you get freeloaders wanting free drinks, da -da -da, I'll show you around, blah, blah, blah. To be honest, I don't really mind that as long as they know when they've overstayed their welcome. Um, but then you get other people that say, well, I'll help you do this, I'll help you do that. And every time they do something, they add something to it. Um, in fact, it costs you more than if you did it yourself. And in all honesty, I don't mind people even doing that as long as you're aware that they're not actually helping you. They're making their living from you. Um, but you also get to a point where they may actually make themselves involved in pretty much everything you're doing to cr try and create a job for themselves. And I've seen that done more than once. Um, befriending people to basically make a job for themselves rather than helping you. It's, it's all about themselves. Now, I know this happens everywhere in the world, and I'm just going to give you something that's happened in Spain very, very recently um, relating to children in need. Um, it's to do with the Cubs, brownies, all that sort of stuff, where there was a couple that were involved in organizing things relating to some of these fundraisers. Um, but people found there was an anomaly. The amount that was raised was not the amount raised. It was actually short by, I don't know, about 500 euros or something. Um, so then it sort of raised alarm bells, and then they found out they hadn't actually submitted the money. And then um, shortly afterwards, they got an email showing that they had submitted it because they had submitted it after they'd been caught. Um, it then resulted in an inquiry within the Brownies Cubs, whatever, um, to actually audit all their bookkeeping, and they found other anomalies that they wouldn't have found if it wasn't for the fact that this charity money that was being raised was actually short. There is another example of people making a living off the back of others. Now, you may think, well, that doesn't relate to the Philippines, for example. Yes, it does. Because you know when you sponsor a child going to school, there is opportunities in there. The first thing is administration charges. You'll find people charge administration. Have a look for it. You may not even see it, but just ask them to break down where their money goes. There's one. Another one is when you sponsor a child and then the school charge the parents 50% of the fees anyway, even though you fully sponsor the child. The school make another 50% on the back of your goodwill. Um, that is very common. And these are just things off the top of my head. I'm not, it's not a case of I'm just making these up or whatever. These are things that have happened over the years. I've seen it, I've experienced it. I don't know, people have got fed up with it. Um, it's also, I mean, I remember Mark buying a load of computers, uh, getting a load of computers shipped over from the UK. He was involved with the school he was involved with um, to find that the school actually sold them all um, because when he went to the school, there wasn't any computers there. They'd already sold them. Um, that sort of thing goes on. And you find out all the way through from solar power plant to water filtration to waste management, they sell a lot of the equipment. Even during the disaster stuff, I was thinking, why is JCB sending a digger? Um, it's good PR for JCB, um, but when you drive along Cebu, uh, the pier, you will see on the left-hand side lots of excavators, cranes, diggers, it's full of heavy lifting equipment. Um, yet they didn't bat an eyelid to go and help people in the disaster relief situation. So that's a few examples. Um, some small, some big. But ultimately, just look for these sort of things. If somebody's offering you something, and there is some good people out there. I mean, I've got to admit, Andreas is a wonderful person. Never cost me a thing. Very good guy. Um, but some other people out here um, that offer to do paperwork, do this every opportunity they've added money for themselves. Um, live and learn, my accounts were a prime example. Um, the accountant, um, 
accounts. <laughs> the accounts cost me twice as much as they should have done on a monthly basis. Doesn't sound a lot, you know, 30 euros a month extra, but ultimately there was no accounts anyway. So it's cost me 60 euros for accounts that weren't actually being, there was no paperwork, that all they're doing is submitting the same form, saying zero, zero for 60 euros a month. Yet um, I know Gordon went to one up the road and they're only 30, 20 something euros and actually more helpful. Um, so those sort of things go on. You gotta understand a lot of their time is not to their benefit to solve the problem. It's more a case of if you have more problems, they make more money. A bit like a mechanic fixing something on your car but breaking something else. So you're constantly going back to them um, because you trust them. They fix the one problem. They don't mention that they disconnected something else while they were doing that on purpose so that you'd be back by Tuesday. But that's the sort of stuff that can go on. Mechanics, if you can't find a good one, I recommend learning to do it yourself. Um, I know myself, I, I mean, that's why I bought a brand new motorbike in the Philippines. Quite simply, don't let anybody else touch it. Um, that's why you get some people comment, oh, you put it in your office, uh, as if I'm an idiot or something. It's to stop people tinkering with it, because they do. They, they pull the levers, they adjust things, and then when you go to use it, something's changed. It's been so common for me to actually be riding off and then the fuel run out because they turned the fuel cut off for no apparent reason. They're just messing around with my bike. Um, so <coughs> those sort of things are things to be aware of. People do things on purpose. People do things because it's not theirs. People do things to make money. But ultimately, just take everything with a pinch of salt. If somebody's helping you, good or bad, you'll have to gauge it up yourself. Thanks for watching.